We are back with some more college basketball action here for Sunday, November 13th. And still traveling, still a, a crazy, weird schedule right now. But we'll be back to the normal shows on Monday. But for now, got another weird one coming for me here. But starting off, I like Eastern Illinois taking on Central Michigan for Eastern Illinois. Coming to this game as the 358th team in the hot tip of power ranking. Central Michigan is the 326th overall team. You know, it's an Eastern Illinois team that, that struggled a little bit against Illinois, especially on opening night. Um, you know, weren't quite able to hold on to get the win over Illinois State in their last game. But one small thing that this Eastern Illinois team has done decently well this season is avoiding turnovers. They've done a good job forcing turnovers um, as well. You know, head coach Marty Simmons has a better roster than he did last season. I, that's, that's one positive you can say about this team. But Overall, losing your top two scorers from a season ago, it's going to be very, very hard to win games, especially when you were already not a great team. I mean, don't get me wrong. The Ohio Valley is a weaker conference this season. I certainly think Eastern Illinois will find a little bit of success. I think they'll win more than three conference games like they did last season. But um, early on in the season here, I think they're going to continue to struggle, especially on the road. And they're going up against the Central Michigan team that is not bad at all. I mean, they're looking to rebound after that opening night loss to Marquette. And, you know, while they didn't look great, in that game, they did do a decent job of shooting the ball. You know, overall, on the offensive side of things, they were by no means a bad team. And overall, Tony Barbie is a guy who has built a pretty solid roster here for Central Michigan. If they push pace, control the speed of this game, I really think Central Michigan can run away with this one. Taking them minus eight and a half here against Eastern Illinois. Now, moving down the card here on Sunday, the second game I want to take a look at is Oklahoma State taking on Oakland. Oakland State comes into this game as the 46th overall team in the hot tip of power ranking. Oakland is the 202nd overall team. And this is a very strange game for a multitude of reasons. I mean, first off, Oklahoma State traveling to Oakland. Um, already a, a weird circumstance in that, but Oklahoma State comes off of a loss to Southern Illinois um, in their last game. You know, end up losing that game by one point. And let's be honest, their opening night game against UT Arlington was not their best showing either. Overall, as an Oklahoma State team, has certainly struggled out of the gate this season. Um, shooting the ball especially, they just cannot seem to get the ball to drop. You know, only a 47 effective field goal percentage on the season for this Cowboys team. And, you know, this is a, a very strange spot for them. I think they continue to struggle here. And it's an Oakland team that, yes, they do come off of a loss Friday against Bowling Green. But um, despite some struggles, they have not been a terrible team on the offensive side of things. You know, here the, the first two games of the season, um, you know, it was a, a non-D1 opponent in that first game. But overall, a 56 effective field goal percentage, um, at least against Bowling Green in that game, don't really count the stats for, for the non-D1 game. But, um, you know, it's a team in Oakland that, that did a good job not turning the ball over. And if they can continue to do that here, I think they can really find some success against an Oklahoma State team that, that quite frankly, hasn't been that great this season. You know, Greg Campbell um, here at Oakland has, has really built himself a, a pretty good team. And, at home, I think they win this one, or maybe not win, but I think they stay within this number. I think they're able to cover this spread. I'm taking Oakland plus 10.5 here against Oklahoma State. And the final game that I like here on Sunday in college basketball, Western Michigan taking on Valparaiso. Western Michigan comes into this one as the 295th overall team in the hot tip at power ranking. Valpo is the 210th overall team. Valpo certainly looking to bounce back after that opening season loss to Toledo. And I mean, Toledo is by no means a bad team. And, you know, Valpo really didn't play terrible in that game. You know, for what they are, they look decent in that game. They shot the ball pretty well, especially from beyond the arc, hitting 42.9% from three in that game and overall it's a Valpo team that you know looks like they're going to be pretty solid on the offensive side of things and their defense is, is also very very competitive they can force some turnovers in this game they could be in great shape and not to say it's a Western Michigan team that has been bad by any means this season I mean Dwayne Stevens takes over as the head coach here for the Broncos um, but it's a team that, that is really looking to rebound after what they did last season I mean defense was a major struggle last season. It's been a major struggle here at the beginning of this season. Um, you know, they have, you know, one of the, the highest returning minutes in the country from a season ago. But for a team that went 8-23 and, and and has a new head coach, how much does that even really matter? Um, you know, their defense certainly needs to improve. Like I said, they, they've really struggled um, to start out the season this year. And going up on the road here against Valparaiso, not going to be an easy opponent, especially against a Valpo team that shot the ball pretty well um, here to start the season, has a pretty competitive defense. I think Valpo wins this one pretty handily, taking them minus four and a half here against Western Michigan. Now that'll do it here for Sunday's show. Like I said, another quick one. We'll be back with the standard show on Monday. Thanks for bearing with me these past few days as all this craziness has gone on. Um, and let's get some wins here to close out the week.